wants you to know you got three more people watching you than I had when I started doing it. It's okay. Are you serious? I'm sure. You don't mess around. He's nervous. But it's a good nervous. He's been at this for over 20 years, so. This is a big build up. During the first start attempt, we had a problem with the end of our fuel pump, which did not produce uh, fuel pressure to start the engine. The, after cranking it for a few times, we did get a successful start, which had the uh, mechanical fuel pump draw fluid and pressure to start the engine. Clear prop. Yeehaw, the engine started. As you can see, I had the power up higher than I really needed to. I was just following the light coming, fuel inject to start manual uh, directions on having the throttle a quarter open, which really only needs to be a crack or a quarter of an inch throttle, otherwise I wouldn't have had such a high RPM rise. And then you're going to see we just let the engine warm up a little bit until uh, we finally get the uh, RPMs going up for a uh, check out the uh, propeller for the constant speed prop back and then um, overall it sounded really good. The only thing we have to take care of now is the uh, fuel pump problem and currently I have the fuel pump uh, in route to Andor to have them look at it and see what's wrong with the fuel pump. When we did a fuel pressure test the fuel pump turned out great. I mean what we had it actually wasn't great. It had, it had to prime it by rotating the engine with the plugs out which helped prime the pump. And then after we got the fluid going, it uh, pumped 36 and a half gallons per hour, which worked out fine. But then after that, we couldn't get any pressure build up, especially during that first start. So now, like I said, the pump is en route to Andar, and we're having them work on the uh, pump. They let us know what's going on with it. Thanks. discussing here with Carl France, who's the uh, tech counselor we have uh, here locally. Um, oil temperature, oil pressure, and a few of the uh, gauges we still got to sync up with uh, the Grand Rapids EIS, such as the yeah, manifold pressure isn't working like it should. Um, oil pressure, I need to put a couple washers underneath the spring and ball bearing to increase the oil pressure a little bit. And other than that, uh, it worked out the engine ran great.
we got Jack Havlin, Jack Morgan, Carl France, and David Cracknell helping me out quite a bit during the uh, first start. Really appreciate your guys' help. Can't thank you enough. Here's a good shot of David getting the uh, picture of the uh, purge valve line that is um, vibrating up and down quite a bit. I need to put another couple of little clamps on that to make sure that's not vibrating around so much. Overall, really, really happy with the first second start. The engine's running great, real smooth. And uh, a few things to work out, but we'll take care of those. Yeehaw!